Marshal Sir Robert Victor Goddard's life was full of unusual events. His military career started at the Royal Naval Colleges, serving as a midshipman during World War I. During this time, Goddard would encounter his first peculiar incident involving the tragic death of an air mechanic named Freddie Jackson at the HM Naval Seaplane Training School. Jackson lost his life, walking into a rotating propeller and succumbing to his injuries. On the day of Jackson's funeral, the crew gathered for a group photograph. Upon reviewing the picture, they made a startling discovery. In the top row of the photograph, behind Victor Goddard, there appeared to be a mysterious figure resembling Freddie Jackson. According to the tale, it was believed that Jackson's spirit, unaware of his demise, had instinctively shown up for the photo, considering it a customary duty. Some sources even suggest that the location of the photograph was the same place where Jackson had met his tragic fate. In 1935, Goddard would encounter his next life enigma while conducting a reconnaissance mission over Drem Air Force Base, an inactive airbase in Edinburgh, Scotland. Upon arrival, he discovered the airfield in a state of disrepair, with grass penetrating through cracks in the tarmac and even cattle grazing on the grounds. Later that same day, while flying his biplane in heavy rain, Goddard encountered difficulties and decided to return to the Drem Air Force Base for better navigation. According to his account, the storm engulfed his surroundings in peculiar colored clouds that somehow transported him into the future. Emerging from the clouds, Goddard described still flying over the Drem airfield, but to his astonishment, the airfield had transformed into a modern and operational base with new bright yellow airplanes. He also noticed personnel in unfamiliar uniforms and even saw a mechanic who appeared to acknowledge his presence. Confused by what he was witnessing, Goddard quickly left the area and returned to his original flight path. As the storm dissipated, the airbase reverted back to its original abandoned state. Remarkably, four years later with the outbreak of World War II, the Drem airfield base was repaired and reinstated for active service. Furthermore, a notable change occurred, as the previously silver-painted RAF planes were now adorned in a striking yellow hue as Goddard described years earlier. Goddard's story intrigued many, while some skeptics question the authenticity of his account. In 1943, Victor Goddard was assigned in Asia as the Southeast Asian Command, where he would encounter his third supernatural encounter. During a party in Shanghai in January 1946, Goddard claimed to have witnessed a clairvoyant experience involving another officer. This officer had a dream in which Goddard perished in a plane crash caused by atmospheric icing. Intrigued by the coincidence, Goddard found himself on a flight to Tokyo that same night with two men and a woman, mirroring the dream. The aircraft encountered icing conditions and made an emergency landing on the Japanese island of Sado, resembling the dream's description of a pebbled beach near mountains. Fortunately, nobody was injured in the actual incident, unlike in the dream. This story was later published in the Saturday Evening Post in May 1951, and it inspired the 1955 film The Night My Number Came Up. After retiring in 1951, Goddard dedicated much of his time to the Rican Trust, an organization promoting spiritual education that he helped establish in 1971. This endeavor deepened his belief in the reality of the spirit world. Additionally, he delved into the investigation and lecturing on the subject of flying saucers, expressing his views on UFOs during a talk at Caxton Hall in London in 1969, defending the idea of the paraphysical hypothesis. Goddard advocated for extrasensory perception and other paranormal phenomena. Goddard's story intrigued many, and it has been discussed in books and articles about time travel and unexplained phenomena. While some skeptics question the authenticity of his account, others find it fascinating and raise questions about the nature of time and the possibility of temporal anomalies. Overall, Victor Goddard's story remains a curious and debated part of the lore surrounding time travel and unexplained events.